All right, guys. So if you want to know how to anoy an item in Path of Exile, I know this is, can be there's a lot to consume here, and I'm just now learning about this, so I wanted to share. Uh, so anointing an item, particularly your amulet inside of Path of Exile, will give you one of these passive skills. Okay. So for example, we are going to be adding um, a very very strong um, ability to our build which is gonna be really, really good. I just wanna make sure I have it correct. Uh, it is Graceful Assault, okay? So if it highlights, it probably didn't. Um, but we are adding Graceful Assault to our, I guess I gotta type it all the way in. That seems weird. Highlight nodes on the passive tree. I don't even see it. I didn't even see it on there. But anyway, so um, anointing on, let me, uh, can I zoom all the way out? Why doesn't it search for it? Huh, that's weird. Must not be on the passive tree. Or at least I can't find it. But anyway, so say, let's, let's say that you wanted Path of the Hunter, okay? So anointing an item is grabbing one of these passive skills and applying it to your amulet so you get all of these benefits. Now you notice when I press Alt on the passive tree, it shows you some oils that you need to apply the actual passive skill Path of the Hunter to your gear piece. Okay, so you can see we got a black one and two green ones. So if I go over and look at my stash and I go to my oils here, you can see that that's two verdant oils, and then a black one is the black oil which I have here, okay? So, the way to annoy an item is, is you have to finish the quest line for Cassia, okay? Once you finish the quest line for Cassia, you're going to be able to add her to your hideout, or you can just do it in the town that she's in, and you can annoy an item. You cannot do this unless you complete her quest line and get her. You can do it at the town, like I said, or bring her to your um, hideout. So when you anoint an item, you're going to put the item in here, and you're going to add all three, okay? When you add all three, it's going to show you Graceful Assault, and I'm going to swap over so you guys can see it. It's going to show you the passive skill that you're going to add and the effects of it, okay? Now, this can be really, really easy to do. It's, it's very, very, it makes your builds really, really strong. And again, on the passive tree, you can pretty much add anything on here. And you can go look at anything just by holding alt. There's also some really good guides online which show you a complete spreadsheet of how to do this. But this is just the best way to do it when you're inside the game. So again, you can get some ones that are really, really uh, strong here. Like this one's a blue and two black. And when you're looking at the anointed items here, or excuse me, um, your oils, they go from rarity left to right through this tree. Okay, so clear oil is the lowest. So, uh was that Sup supply oil is the next highest all the way up to amber verdant teal um azure all the way up and then you have gold and then you're going to have a another one here that i don't have unlocked but that's going to be the rarities here okay and again you could end up just adding your gear piece in here if you wanted an anoint as well just makes it really really easy with the passive tree i like doing it from cassia it just looks cooler now if you wanted to upgrade some of these you can grab these and go trade these in and when you trade them in, you trade in three, and you're going to get the upgraded version. So when you trade three in, you go up to the next level in far, as far as your oils. So you could just do this all the way up, and it goes in order. So if I wanted to get one more teal, I could just trade in three verdants and get another teal. So that is the rarity of the oils. So now when you go to anoint, we're going to anoint the gear piece. We're going to take our uh fate choker a gate amulet because this thing is awesome um we are going to add our black oil and our two violet oils and it's going to give us graceful assault so when you anoint it's just going to add it to it makes it very very easy boom now we have allocates graceful assault on our amulet and this is something we will have always so it's going to give me 30 percent increased effect on onslaught for us 10 percent chance to gain it on a kill and then increased armor and evasion rating during Onslaught. You notice there that Onslaught grants 20% increased attack, cast, and movement speed. Now, this works really, really well with our Magic Find build. But more importantly, because the build that I put together for this is a 
raider build and not your typical uh, bow build for your ascendancy. So we are already built to have onslaught. So our onslaught rating is going to be insane. Okay, this is a raider as opposed to uh, what is it? Um, what's the other one? It's over here somewhere. The normal bow build. I don't even remember what the the normal ascendancy for it is, but it's because everybody runs it. Um, but yeah, dead eye. That's what it is, dead eye. Uh, but we are so we already have the bonuses of getting evasion and onslaught on our build. So having this effect from our graceful assault is just going to increase those modifiers even more. And I love my uh, voice meter potato coming in clutch during the video. Uh, cut there, you guys get to see that. Um, so yeah, so that is how you anoint an item. Now you can anoint pretty much any amulet in the game. And you could do some unique slash legendaries, however you want to call them. I just call them legendaries instead of uniques because they're just, they're uniques, but they are legendaries, okay? So by doing this, um, it can really just give you a huge power crease into your builds, okay? Now, again, you have to unlock Cassia to be able to do this, and then you're just finding some oils to just add. One more time, any passive on here, you can just come and hold alt, and it'll show you the three that you need to do. So that is how you anoint an item inside of Path of Exile. I'm learning so much into this game, RIP Diablo, and I'm trying to share as much as I can with you guys about playing Path of Exile and just having a really good time for those that wanted to switch over. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Welcoming brand new Path of Exile players. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.